about to open a window into the life of a ghost hunter. We'll show you dark, creepy roads that fade into the night. We'll show you haunted places, but most importantly, we'll show you what happens along the way there. I'm Jeff. I'm Linda. I'm Aaron. And we are traveling out to Midlothian, Virginia, where there's some interesting reports. Uh, this woman, one of the main reports is something's attacking her. And she woke up one night, heard something talking through her husband, and whatever it was jumped onto her and started shaking her, and she had to fight this thing off. So we're interested in going up there, and of course we'll talk more about the reports as we go along. Hopefully we'll be able to run video at the location. If we yeah. can, we definitely will. Yeah. But if nothing else, uh, kind of get to see what happens along the way here. Yes. Now, the first stop, Linda, perhaps you want to talk a little bit about. Yeah, I think we're going to stop at the Pilot, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Pilot yeah. has the best coffee on the road. Um, it beats Sheets. I'm sorry, Sheets. I love you, Sheets, but your coffee doesn't beat Pilot. And um, seven, even 7-Eleven. 7 7-Eleven's 7 one of my favorite coffees, but Pilot is much better. Now, you cannot beat Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Uh, that's true. Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> is really good, I have to admit. But Pilot, I mean, they just... I guess it's trucker coffee, so they make it nice and strong. Yeah, the Pilot I like a strong blend. coffee. Yeah. Sorry, Starbucks, you don't make the cut. No, no. definitely not, no. <laughs> but uh, we're going to stop at Pilot. And uh, we also have um, two people trailing us. Um, they are new to the investigative field, and um, one is named Kim, and the other is Jack, and uh, we're going to take them along tonight. So we'll probably be doing a lot of explanation, um, a lot of explaining things Merge through the course of West. through the course of the investigation. But um, it ought to be really fun and be kind of a, a different experience for everybody. So looking forward to it. Absolutely. And Jeff and Linda, thank you so much for having me along, and everybody out there on YouTube. Hey. How's it going? Good to be here, and uh, y'all take care. And we're glad to have Aaron along. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's take a look at that coffee here. I can see yeah. the steam coming off. Piping hot. I venture to say. I like to say piping hot, but uh, yeah, it's always really good. And of course, I have to have my cream, a little bit of sugar in there. But um, you know, the only the only bad thing is that some of these places have like little packets of sugar they don't have the canisters oh yeah pilot does have the canisters i, oh, I like some canisters of sugar that's good yeah i see all the little packets here that's, yeah uh, they put the canisters up here kind of redundant to be it is those into the I, I guess you know they they accommodate everybody though which is the good thing you know it's whatever people like it's here what do you got there i have vitamin water which is my uh a substitute for Pepsi and Coke. Oh, I'm, is, I'm cutting is that down healthier? my sugars. Yeah, it um, sounds healthier. Anything with vitamins in it. Yeah, well, it's got electrolytes, so I'm down to water in these and milk, and then the occasional caffeine binge. Those things are actually pretty good. Those those Starbucks coffees. Yeah, yeah I love them. And what else is cool is Pilot's got a Subway, yes. as uh, Aaron seemed to find out over here. What'd you get there? I have a um, roast beef. Uh, turkey and fresh mozzarella cheese. Oh. Cannot beat that with a little salt on it. Keep it plain, keep it simple. That's a good mix That's right awesome. there. I'm yes. getting hungry. Absolutely. Maybe I should have got more than the coffee. <laughs> I don't know. Little amount of but, uh, so you're browsing the snack aisle over here. I huh? am. I'm browsing the nut aisle. Um, I really like those, what are they, sweet 
Chipotle something something that Planners has put out. They're cashews. She hasn't gotten enough nuts in the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough nuts here as it is, huh? Yeah, look for a couple more. But uh, I haven't found them, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to have to go with something else. Let's see. Maybe behind me? No. So our route to the investigation has actually taken us on Pocahontas Parkway, which is also 895, yes. if I'm not mistaken. It is a toll road. It is a toll road. But Pocahontas Parkway is very haunted. When they decided to build this road, the land was reportedly sacred Indian burial grounds. And the chiefs, the local chiefs, came to the people that were building the road and encouraged them to not do it, to leave this land alone, to choose a different route. But they were ignored. And the road was built, well, course shortly after and today people see strange things along 895 here and one of the things that's reported and, and I, I even talked to a guy I interviewed him for a book I was working on where he talked about his experience here and he said he never even knew the stories and he was driving down this road and he saw uh, Indians sitting on a horse sitting on a white horse uh, up along the road and he found out about the stories later on that's what people report seeing. They'll see this man on the horse, or else they'll see braves, Indian braves, darting out in front of the cars. I mean, some people have swerved off the road to miss these uh, Native Americans to turn around and there's nothing there. So, reportedly a very haunted road, and you don't want to mess with sacred ground. Um, that's for sure. I think they made a mistake by doing that, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. Yeah, don't mess with the Indians. Leave them alone. That's right. But she just wouldn't stay. So now that she is leaving, this is all I can say. I got a feeling called the blues. Oh Lord, since my baby say goodbye. Lord, I don't know what I'll do. All I do is sit inside. Well, Lord, I thought I would cry. She'll do me, she'll do you. She's got that kind of loving. Lord, I love to hear her when she calls me sweet. Daddy, daddy, such a beautiful dream. That was great. We can go home now. I mean, that's that's like the greatest thing I've seen in a long time. We just got to sing along with Hank Williams to this antique. Yes. What, what so model is this right here? 1917 uh, Victor Talking Machine Company, RCA. Wow, 1917. That is yeah, awesome. It's sold, 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 sold like 250 bucks back then. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Was and that's amazing. It still plays. It like yeah, well, good sound, too. I guess, I guess part of it was uh, restored, right? Well, I was telling this young lady, what's her name? Linda. Oh, Linda. I was telling Linda that you see if I get a crank one right here, and in the 40s, I, I heard that RCA sent out adapter kits to electrify your cranks. And so this is, I guess, been electrified since the 40s. If you take out the back, all these is one wire coming down from you know, the uh, turntable, you know, to, 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 uh, to electric source. So yeah, it, it, but when my, uh, when Tom's, when Kevin's godparents found it, I mean, it was missing a leg. It was, to, it was, um, it was um, tied to a pole to keep it from falling over. Wow. And I've, got, I've got Jimmy Rogers singing Blue Yodel, you know, T for Texas. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what are you holding there? Uh, there's probably some technical term for it, but I'm it's not a, sure <laughs> what it is. Uh, I call it stereoscope. Stereoscope. Yeah, that's right. That's, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you look through the little viewer and then you move this back and forth in order to focus it. And see the picture in 3D. And see the picture in 3D. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. I'm take a look through this. It is. If there are more than two, could you light it up to yellow?
If there's more than three, can you light it up to yellow? It's back there. Hmm. It started when I was back there. See I got trenched several there. times back there. Yeah, right in this scary right now. It felt like spider webs going across my arms. I got touched twice. Back in here? Yes. I felt something once, but I thought it was just a web. And as soon as I felt it, his meter went off. It's got to be, I'm feeling it. It's feeling like static almost, like it's making your hair stand up mm -hmm. back here. Tingle. I'm and wondering I felt, if there could be a natural though because of the... Jeff, this is, what I, this is what I felt. It was like... It was like a spider like that. going across your yeah. arm. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. And I felt it once right here, and then I felt it once right here. So it was all over my arm. Hmm right here and it went all the way did you see it go up to all red i caught it with this camera yeah uh, i didn't catch it go up to red i think i came in after that i got it on my i got it on my um iphone and then my iphone was back this oh, far great. away from it so great. i mean there is a great distance between this and that so there was no way this could be picking up any cell phone reception the motion light just went on outside are you making that motion light go on and off of which you come from in this on this property. Where is the portal? Do you use the mirror in the foyer? I mean, you have our attention. You have our undivided attention and you can answer our questions. We can hear you on this recorder. Our equipment will not harm you in any way, shape, or form. Fairly quiet or fairly calm up here. I don't... It doesn't good. seem different. It seems more strange in the bedroom. Um, That's where I have most of the activity. Yeah. But now, um, that closet in Tom's room was a lot of the activity when Kathy was here. I think that might have been, but, but Tom doesn't experience anything in that room. Mm -mm. And we can make it go forward or backwards, backwards, through either AM or FM, and uh, we can control the speed at which it scans. So some of what you hear may be actual bits of radio stations coming through, but there's been plenty of times when we heard things that were definitely not radio stations, you know, being fussed at, of course. You know, um, and so we have to kind of compare the the responses that we're hearing to the situation and to, to, to decide if it's something related or not. You don't have to be afraid of these lights. If you walk around the room, they will let us know that you're here. If you could just pass in front of this little device that's emitting these lights. We also have a device on the bed. If you come near it, it might light up and let us know that you're here as well. Can you do something to let us know that you are here? What are your intentions? Are they good or bad? What we've done is we've stepped out of the bedroom because the client said that it seems more active when there's no males in the room. So we've kind of split up, left the females in there and we've stepped out. Absolutely. Perhaps it'll be more open to communicating. I agree. Is there anyone here you want to talk to?
are you the one that touched me several times down there in the garage? What is your name? And how many of you are here? In the name of Jesus Christ, we care of the portal. I'm going to start this up. I'm going to keep it on silent. But I'm going to set it down here next to the spirit box. This is that app we've been experimenting with. Had some interesting results from. No. If anything, it usually stays quiet for a while. Yeah, we've never heard of it getting more. Because the new shoes are hurt people. In the name of Jesus Christ, are you here for a reason? In the name of Jesus Christ, have you, do you have a message? In the name of Jesus Christ, were you here before we were? Transport Systems Incorporated. All right, so we stopped off here at a Wawa. Gonna get some food and uh, partake in the parking lot, perhaps. <laughs> so I was perusing the drink cooler here, and I found something that I hadn't seen yet. This is Mountain Dew Ice Cherry. Ooh, that looks good. And you know, there's that one thing really we have to do. <laughs> what else is pretty cool is Mountain Dew has these state bottles, and each one has a different state on them. Like this one, for example, is Hawaii. And it's hard to look at them all at Wawa because they have them all in a row, you'd have to take them all out. But I've been looking through the store shelves and such trying to find a Delaware bottle, and I haven't come across one yet. Hmm. But we'll keep looking. Cut so them, look at this assembled sandwich. them, and everything. Yeah. This is the Italian what? Flatbread sandwich? It's a sourdough melt, the Italian sourdough melt. But they do have a cheesesteak, a spicy cheesesteak sourdough melt that I was tempted to get because it was a lot of meat, but it, you know, I, I just love the Italian, so I had to get that one. Mm hmm. Yeah, and I gotta say, I'm pretty hungry, so I can't wait to tear into this thing. Is that here. arugula Let's lettuce? Take a little bite here. Mmm. And... <laughs> <laughs> I think that was more like three bites. <laughs> <laughs> that was an obnoxious bite. <laughs> I think this is the first time he's seen an obnoxious bite, at least in person. Um, you know. Hey, let me tell you this. That's that's a guy's bite. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that's right. Have you seen the loud bite? No, I haven't seen oh, the loud bite. No. It goes kind of like this. Oh, okay. not the loud bite. Mmm. <laughs> that's a good salmon. <laughs> So it's Saturday, and definitely an interesting investigation last night. Yes. And one of the coolest parts was that, I believe it was a 1917 Victrola. Yeah. Uh, where we got to sing along with Hank Williams. Yeah. An old 78. Pretty cool time. But the only thing worse than heading 64 west is going 64 east. <laughs> and that's what we're attempting to do today. Yeah. Because we were going down to Virginia Beach to the Wesleyan University. Yeah, Virginia Wesleyan, I believe it is. Yes. Where we're supposed to give a lecture on investigating Virginia's paranormal mm -hmm. at an event that's going on down there. 
If we ever get there. If we ever get there. It is bumper to bumper traffic. Yeah, and it's pretty bad. For an example, to go 28 miles, it is, originally it was going to take us an hour. Mm -hmm. And now it's taken well over that. Yeah. But nonetheless, we're on our way down there. And after we finish up the lecture, we're going to be heading back west. So we mm -hmm. get the best of both worlds. We get to go through That's the tunnel right. going east. And then we get to come back and go through the tunnel going west. Yeah. Uh, to go back out to... What is it tonight? Mid Mechanicsville. Mechanicsville. Mechanicsville, yeah. I believe. Mechanicsville. And what's interesting is these two investigations are related. Right. The house we're going to tonight is the house of the daughter from last night's right. client. Right. Last night's... The client's daughter. And it's interesting because you said something about these abilities perhaps right being a light in the darkness being someone that is sensitive to spirits yes they're drawn to you and that's why there's a lot of random spirits perhaps that she's experiencing right but it's also passed down it is a lot of times passed down maternally through the mother's side of the family so um if your mother has has uh these sort of gifts or these sort of sensitivities then um chances are maybe your grandmother or great-grandmother had those abilities as well so um sort of passed down and um it's sometimes unfortunate for these sort of people because a lot of times they don't really know how to control it or how to it, you know it's like you're being bombarded by good spirits as well as bad ones and you sort of have to learn how to control it and um and keep them from destroying your life absolutely so it should be an interesting investigation tonight we'll be joined yeah. by the rest of the team later on and yes be heading out if we can run some footage down at this event that's going on we definitely will right. to show you what it's all about uh we're not entirely sure what it's all about either but yeah we're going there yeah we're going to be talking about paranormal investigations so mm -hmm. it should be a good time yeah Inside the expo here, pretty cool setup for sure. Yeah, it's you say? Is. Yeah, there's um a lot of rocks around. Um, you know, all different pretty kinds. rocks. Yeah, really nice. Beautiful rocks. Yeah, but lots of rocks in all shapes and sizes. Mystics Garden, all kinds of different booths up in here. So we're sitting down here in Virginia Beach at Zero Subs. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I've already tried this Philly steak and cheese, and it's it's really on point. It's really good. And it's got some cheese and steak and onions on there and a toasted bun. Really good stuff. And we got some jalapeno cheese curds right here. Mm-hmm. They're quite good. I kind of expected there to be little bits of jalapeno in there, but it's not. I think it's jalapeno cheese because when you bite into it, it definitely has a little bit of a kick to it, but um, they're quite good. I mean, I got a BLT. I think it's the first time I've had a BLT toasted, um, and I wasn't sure what to expect, but I really like it. It's actually very good, very good. Yeah, it looks good. I saw the bacon hanging out of the end there. Uh -huh. Man, it looks like a good sandwich. Mm -hmm. So we're heading back on I-64 West, once again, sitting in traffic a good five mile back up here at the tunnel yeah. it takes about an hour to get through but nonetheless it's actually sunday i think the last time we tuned in it was saturday we we're at that uh expo right and we just did another presentation there today and the presentation involves uh it was kind of a mix it was talking about paranormal investigation methods procedures history and haunted locations throughout virginia then we went over to Zero Subs and got something to eat. Yeah. What happened last night, we didn't fire get out truck? to the investigation. Yeah, there's a fire truck coming up there on the right. We didn't come up to the investigation because uh, they actually canceled on us. They had some emergencies going on, uh, plumbing emergencies and such. So we didn't end up going out to the investigation, unfortunately. So yeah. that happens in real life. And uh, sure. unfortunately, you know, with these gas grub and ghost videos not being scripted and 
you know, not not having we're not we don't have like places under contract to go and investigate or anything. Right. It's just yeah. following us along throughout the weekend. Unfortunately, it's got to get cut a little short. Yeah. Because we didn't have that second investigation. Mm-hmm. But uh, what are your thoughts on the uh, presentation? Well, um, I think a lot of people really liked it. Um, we do somewhat of the same thing every time in the in this particular area. But um, it's always nice to hear other people's stories. There's always a lot of people who will approach us afterward and, and want to tell us their story and want to tell us, you know, what, what paranormal experiences they've had in their own homes or businesses. So that's the part that I probably enjoy the most. Yeah, it's interesting hearing from people and hearing about their experiences. Yes. It definitely is. But we're closing out the weekend at this point on this monsoon that just swept through Virginia Beach here. Yeah. It's crazy. People are driving off the road. and Yeah, it was bad. It was, just, yeah, it was rough. Yeah. It was rough. Luckily, for the most part of it, we're in zero sub, which i got to recommend as a good place. Yes. It really is. I was telling Linda that that Philly cheesesteak that I had there is probably the best one I've had outside of Philly. Yeah. It was very good. Yeah, I know you liked it. And the um, BLT that I had was really good. I was quite impressed with that as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. But we want to thank everybody for joining us mm-hmm. on this weekend, even though it was cut short uh, on our outings. And once again, you can catch Virginia Paranormal Case Files on Amazon Prime. Mm-hmm. And uh, the audience on Amazon Prime doesn't seem to like it too much. So yeah. if, you, uh, if you do like it, go on there and, and check us out and perhaps give us a rating on there. Uh, the thing about these Paranormal Case Files, I just want to throw in there, is a lot of people when they see something like this on TV, they're expecting entertainment. They're expecting it to be for entertainment. Yeah, like the shows on TV right. that they usually see. Right, and, and honestly, a lot of times real life is not the most entertaining. It's not things jumping out at you. It's not right. the music built up in the background. It's not yeah. fabricated. And our goal really is to just show people what it's really like, what mm-hmm. these investigations are really like, to document these cases a lot of times there's not going to be any evidence. doesn't mean it's not haunted. It just means right. that we're there for a fraction of time. Whatever yes. was there didn't particularly want to communicate with us. Yeah. Which happens often. And sometimes the entities that are there, I mean, we, we receive some significant reports. They seem to hide while we're there. They seem to just yeah. stay out of view. And people have even told us when we leave, the house is quiet. Yeah. So this stuff, it's not... It's The, the paranormal <clears throat> case files are not necessarily out there for entertainment to creep people out or anything like yeah. that. It's just to show what a real investigation is. Real investigation footage. Right. Uh, as we go along. But thanks everybody for joining us. And until next time, I'm Jeff. I'm Linda. I'm Linda.